Hello everyone, how are you? I will show you a video talking about uh, special occasions uh, without uh, subtitle and listen to it carefully and uh, make a summary about uh, this video and uh, take it uh, and you pick up a new words from it please listen to it carefully We got married last year in December 2009. Uh, we got married in a church in Oxford. Uh, there were about a hundred people there and the ceremony took about an hour. I wore a long white wedding dress. My bridesmaids wore navy blue dresses um, and Stuart wore a black suit. After the ceremony, we went to a restaurant where we had a party with about 80 people. The party finished at about five o'clock um, and we left and went straight on our honeymoon. We went on honeymoon to Edinburgh. I met my husband in 2006. We both worked in the same hospital, but we met in a restaurant. When I got married, there were five different ceremonies over five days in two different cities, Manchester and London, and there were about 300 people at the wedding. I had three wedding cakes and we ate about six large meals. The first event was the registry wedding, where I wore a white dress and a tiara. And then after that, it was the mendi ceremony, which is where the bride has henna applied to her hands and feet. The third event was the biggest, and that was the wedding ceremony, the wedding party itself. I wore a traditional Indian dress called a lenga, which is a embroidered top and an embroidered skirt with a very, very heavy scarf. I also wore heavy gold jewelry, um, 10 bangles and big earrings and a big necklace. My husband wore a traditional long top and trousers underneath embroidered with gold. And he also wore a hat called a turban, which was very heavy. We then went to Manchester for the fourth ceremony. Again, we ate a lot of food, we had another cake, and we enjoyed ourselves a lot. The final event, the fifth ceremony, was a small dinner with my husband's family and my family, and that was just as well because we were very, very tired by then. I don't celebrate my birthday much anymore. I might go out for dinner with some friends or my family, but I remember when I was a child, my parties were really, really exciting and I always looked forward to them. I remember my seventh birthday party was one of the best. It was an important birthday for me because it was the first birthday I had in Scotland because we moved from Canada to Scotland the year before. My birthday's in June, and I remember that it wasn't raining, and it always rained in Scotland. I invited four friends from school, and I remember we all wore our favourite dresses. Um, we ate snacks, like sandwiches and sausage rolls, and my mum made a chocolate cake, and I remember I blew out the candles. Afterwards, there were lots of activities, 
uh, we played games and danced a lot. Um, I remember having a, a really good time. Uh, recently it was my 40th birthday and I celebrated it um, with all my friends, which was brilliant. Um, because I was born in 1970, I decided to have a 1970s party. So lots of my friends dressed up in 1970s clothes. I wore a dress that was from 1970. I bought it in a retro market in Rome and it was long and orange and it had orange chiffon sleeves. We ate 1970s food, um, I played 1970s music, lots of disco and soul and that kind of thing. Uh, I had a cake, um, my sister arranged for somebody to make a cake and it uh, was a 1970s cake with big platform shoes on top and happy birthday Carolyn. Um, I think the party went really well, lots of people dressed up, uh, lots of people danced. I think everyone had a good time. The party wasn't on the actual day of my birthday, it was a couple of days before. On my birthday I was in Italy um, and I decided to bounce across the Ponte Vecchio in Florence on my 1970s space hopper to celebrate. Okay.